all right guys welcome back to west texas and we built a new police station which means we can take our fire station all the police cars out of it move it out and then throw in a bunch of new fire vehicles so we're getting this fire station set up ready to go to fight some fires here in texas because the summer months are coming it's gonna heat up we're gonna get some fire so we gotta be ready i think we have three or four engines we're gonna try and pull in here check up my backing up skills hopefully i don't hit a old fred running back there all right here we go we're looking good we're looking good big old ladder Chuck truck coming through might have made a mistake and that stall was not long enough i totally forgot there's there's our our engine stalls and then smaller stalls for for not as long vehicles here we go let's check the top we look good and i think we're good perfect she looks good freshly washed i gotta go grab the bunch of other engines i think we have some heavy rescue ones so some some bushfire trucks that we can fight bushfires which with which is gonna happen quite a bit i better move this ambulance to the smaller stall because it's just taking up a stall this is by far my favorite ambulance it's a uh, it's a 550 an f550 so it's got the ford 6.7 liter power stroke and she's uh she's good it's just clean it's a little stiff we put air ride in the back in the front so so that helps out a bit so here's one of our heavy rescue fire units or rescue units i guess i want to say it's more utility it's more bring it to the bushfires and we have a lot of tools in there a lot of different hoses hooks up lines a bunch of stuff like that so this engine will be good for our uh, for our department and it'll be it has like a million there's literally toolboxes on the top here all right there we go back her up looks good and the last unit i'm bringing up i saved the best for last i'm bringing over an old obs power stroke She's got the, seven, the old 7.3 liter, reliable power stroke in her, utility bag. This is the baby, Dooley. She's going to fight some brush fires. She's going to get out there in the forest and uh, put her to work. She's got a tanker on her. I think those are solar panels on it, maybe, so that there's uh, plenty of electricity to run it. I, I really don't know about that one. Here we go. There she is. She's looking mean. She's looking clean. There we go. Sick. We can run up here. We have steps to get on the bed here, fight the fire. We got hoses, pumps, the whole nine yards right there. So it looks like we're good to go. I got to get uh, get these two workers back here. I need to get them to work. There's a station. A lot of you guys were asking, yo, Spence, man, you need to make some fire videos. And we haven't made them for a while. And we've been on West Texas, but we haven't done any, any firework. So we got this set up. We got some police vehicles over here. The Ford Explorer. Thank you so much again sheriff for making that uh amazing mod that he made there i have uh the first video you see with the thumbnail of it is is kind of going through the ford explorer and sheriff made it for me it was it was a really cool mod all right all right all right i think we got a fire come on run run over here i gotta get suited and booted there we go grab my jacket put on my helmet gosh i need to hurry up there we go she's on we're good we got the tankers ready to go they're full all right she's fired up here let's go let's go let's go all right, all right, all right. It looks like, okay, GPS, we're on the backside of Walmart. Okay, it's a struck area. It's a house fire, structure fire. We're flying over here. So looks like we got some concern that it could spread to Walmart. It's that close, I guess. Okay, I didn't know there was a, there was a house that close to Walmart. But I think there's some new construction over there. It's a small development that just popped up. Let's go, let's go. All right, we're flying down here. So there's Walmart. There's the back of Walmart. I don't see any smoke just yet. Okay, there's the development. Okay, so it's not those new houses. Okay, there's the fire. Okay, wait, it's not that. It's not that close. Somebody from Walmart called this in. I think it might be an abandoned house. Here's some traffic. All right, here's the house getting built. There's one getting built right there. There's a new development. Look both ways. People come really fast on this road. All right, here we go. Here we go. There's the house. Okay, I'm not worried about Walmart. I'm worried about it spreading. To literally just a pre-frame uh, just a just a framed house with just straight wood wood frame so let's go ahead get this pulled up here i gotta hook up to a hydrant it looks like there's a hydrant over here we gotta hook up to all right i got the hose hooked up to it running over here spreading out the line all right looks like it's probably up to the second floor oh she's smoking boy she's burning black all right let's see let's see where do we go come on i'm gonna go around the house a little bit we have this literally wood pile which is just like a box of matches okay here we go the door is open i don't see anybody's here yeah nobody called it the people who called it in were not uh i don't know if anybody lives here there's a bunch of paint falling off it looks pretty rough i don't know it looks like somebody lives here though yeah there's a bunch of stuff in here it seems like it's well i can't i can't see too much from the smoke but it seems like somebody lives here yeah somebody lives here for sure there must be a way for work or something. All right, keep shooting the fire here. All right, there we go. I think I got it pretty well maintained in the living room. Let's try and hit some of these windows. What is this, a garage? No, 
There's no garage. All right, here we go. Let's hit these windows. Some of these first floor bedrooms shoot up in here. There we go. I jumped on a ladder. I think it's starting to spread to the second floor, probably up into the attic, which is uh, once you get a, once, once it gets in the attic in these older houses, it's never good. We might call it, but I think I, I got it stopped on the main floor. It's just up here. It's raging pretty good. Come on, big cat. What would be nice if I could get a helicopter, come drop some water on her, but I might, might just totally collapse the house. There we go. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. It's looking good. We'll come through here. Oh, yeah, the living room's pretty contained, but some smoke's flying through this door. All right, I think we got it pretty good. It's slowing down. It looks worse than it is. I was up in the, the second bedroom, and it's starting to calm down here just a bit. There we go. We got her. We got her slowed down. Literally just soaking the floor into the base. Is there a basement? I didn't see. I better check the basement. I don't I don't think there is one. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see any, like, little basement windows or anything. It's just a two-story house and built on a slab. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I think I think we're good to go. I'm just going to keep soaking it for probably another 30 minutes. There we go. Shoot these here. Make sure this is nice and wet. Looks like they got two or three AC units. Wow. Okay, yeah, this house is pretty big. But there we go. We stopped the house fire of a uh this is kind of weird there's no parking or i mean there is parking but there's no garage it's kind of a different looks like this was an add-on at one time but thank goodness it didn't spread to the to the firewood there that that would have been pretty that would not have been good i think the whole entire thing would have been gone at that point and good thing it didn't spread i don't see any visual damage even to this tree here smoke was blown the other way and this this would have went up like a box of matches it would have went up like a five-month-old Christmas tree with lighter fluid on it. That, that one wouldn't have been good. There we go. We're pulling out here, I think. Better flip my lights off here. This, uh, not too much traffic came down, which was good. Nobody really got in the way. I was worried if someone was coming down that road, that smoke was kind of block them. And it, it, I was just a little worried about that. But there we go. We had the first call at our new station. That way I can, uh, I can cruise around town a little bit, celebrate. Sometimes after a big fire, I like to, uh, you know, just honk the horn. Kids are coming out of school or something, you know, just lay on the horn. They appreciate it. There we go. We'll go through town. We'll go the long way back to the station. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We fought some fires. We set up the fire station, which was good to get done because they built the new police station. Now we have room to have both. And the city's growing a bunch. So here in West Texas, we... Uh, we had to have fire station. We, we couldn't rely on uh, East Texas, let's say, anymore. So I had to build a station. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, smash like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one.